Welcome back to Art with Mrs. Bowie. Today we're going to talk about Jeff Koons. He's a contemporary artist known for his sculptures and specifically um, we're going to talk about Balloon Dog today. So this is one of his most famous um, sculptures right now and um, hopefully you got to watch the video about him. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now and then you can come back to the lesson. So you may have seen these actual balloons um, at a birthday party or the circus. Um, and I remember um, getting one of these as a kid as well. And my, both my sister and I, we both had one. And then this little part right here is kind of the end of the balloon. And I think um, something happened to hers and we had to give it back to the balloon artist. And then they just uh, twisted it and squeezed and all of a sudden um, it came back to normal. So it's just one of the memories that I have. And um, maybe you have a memory with a balloon dog, and maybe you will. And if you don't, then you'll be able to create this piece of art today. We're going to do this together. And um, you'll just need two different colors of construction paper. So, and it can be any color. Um, I'm going to do orange and green for the example. And you will also need a black marker or crayon. Um, crayons, a pencil, glue, and scissors. So basic materials here, and we will start our Jeff Koons balloon dog. And again, I borrowed this example from Deep Space Sparkle. Again, they are a great resource if you um, need activities to do during the summertime. So I have this template and um, you can print out this template as well. Um, there are five of them on here, but you only really need one. And if you don't have a printer, you don't, um, you don't have to do the template. It's just basic ovals. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we will start our project. All righty. So first of all, I'm going to have my template and their directions on Deep Space Sparkle is a little bit different than mine. Um, I'm, I tweaked it a little bit because of the supplies that they use and also um, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing it a little bit different to make it look a little bit more like the sculpture. So for this piece, we're going to trace this piece five different times. So, um, and I try to fit as many pieces on one sheet of paper as I can because we go through so much paper at school. Um, I try to save as much as possible just for the environment and we only have one earth so we should protect it. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have five oval size pieces and they're roughly about the same size. And again, if you're just freehanding this, that's fine. You don't, you don't need the template. Um, and then I'm also going to do one small, one slightly smaller piece. Whoops. Okay, so one slightly smaller piece that was smaller than I would have liked. So one slightly smaller piece and then two smaller pieces for the ears. And again, if you're free drawing it, like it, you may have to do it a few times, that's fine, it's not a big deal. So now I'm gonna get my black marker. If you don't have a black marker, that's fine. You can just get a crayon and then you'll go over it a few times. So again, I'm just going to get my black marker and I don't want you to just go over it once. I want you to actually make it go in and make it a little bit thicker and what this does is that this creates a more cartoony effect so that it looks a little bit more like pop art. And even when I'm going over it, it's not, I'm not going over the exact, um, the exact outline, which is fine. And if you happen to make yours perfect with the outline, with the um, with the the template, that's fine too. So I'm going to go over there. So those are my five, and then I'm going to go over my one slightly smaller piece. 
and my two smaller pieces. Okay, so I have green here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white crayon and then you're going to get the darker color of whatever uh, of whatever uh, con color construction paper you have. So I'm going to get a darker green. Here on my example, I used, I had a purple, I had purple paper, so then I used a darker purple crayon. So here's my white and here's my darker purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my, I'm going to start off with my white first. So here, and I'm just going to have it all on one side. So I'm going to do my white crayon. And then I'm going to take my darker crayon and then I'm going to do the other side. And you can actually see it popping and coming to life, having, giving it dimension. It all of a sudden starts to look, these don't look like flat ovals anymore. So now, you'll get your scissors and you're going to cut all of these out. So I'm gonna to try to cut as fast as I can so we can, but again, when you cut, I'm gonna actually, what you really want is, you want to keep that black line and I'm going to try to avoid leaving that green construction paper on there. You don't wanna cut away so much that you cut away your black line, but you want it to look really clean. So, I'm going to go through and cut these pieces out. And if you are not able to fit all your pieces on one page, that's okay. If you need to use two pieces of construction paper, that's fine. Again, I'm just trying to conserve and if you can, uh, go ahead and try to fit it on one, but if you're not able to, don't stress out about it. Just use another piece. And if you don't have construction paper, you can use just regular white paper, and then you would actually do the coloring where you, at that point, you'd use three different colors. So you'd have a white, a lighter color, and a darker color. And of course, your black crayon or a black marker to create the outside. And again, remember that outside is a thicker line. A thicker line, it creates a more of a pop art effect or more cartoony. And so we are on our last two. And then we're going to get to put our balloon dog together. And as we put this together, you'll notice that it doesn't, it may not all fit on that one sheet of construction paper and that's okay. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. I forgot our other two pieces that are not ovals. I forgot our other two pieces that are not ovals. And I'm actually going to kind of cut this piece away so that you guys can see. I forgot. We need to create the little, um, the tail and the, the little nose. So the tail, for the tail, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create, and I'm actually not gonna color that in, so that's just the tail. And then for right there. Okay, so I will kind of use the, the highlighter and the darker, the low lights right there. Okay, to, to give it more dimension. You know what, I might do the tail just a little. Alrighty, so then I'm gonna cut these pieces out. Almost forgot, these fine details are what bring the, um, the piece to life. So now, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assemble my, um, my balloon dog. So as I do this, um, I kind of take, I kind of, I'll, this is in Seesaw, so you can look at this as you're putting it together. So I'm going to get my paper, my larger paper, and then I'm going to assemble this. And again, yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Mine will come out different every time, and you might see me move some pieces around. So what I noticed when I was looking at these is I noticed that the neck is, the neck piece is always a little bit shorter. So I'm going to do the neck piece a little bit shorter. So I have my piece that's just slightly smaller. So these are my, my truly smaller pieces. Those are my ears. And then this is my slightly smaller piece. So that's going to be the neck. So here's my body, the neck, which is my slightly smaller piece. Here is the snout, the legs, the legs, and our tail. That was so cute. Okay. Oh, you know what? I was doing, I was assembling it so that I could see it. I'll try assembling it the other way so that you guys can see it. Okay. So again, I have my body. We can put down the legs. The shorter piece is going to be the neck. So my shorter piece is going to be the neck. And then I have the snout the ears, the ears, the little um, the end of the balloon goes right there for the nose and his cute little tail. Okay, so here is mine um, and the, lastly I would take my glue and I would go through and I would glue it down so I'll let you do that at home but this is one of my um, one of a new project that I'm trying out, and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, it makes me really happy. Again, it brings back memories for me, and um, it's good to study artists that uh, are still current right now. Which this is his name again is Jeff Koons. The sculpture is the balloon dog, which you may have seen here. And remember, sculpture. Anytime that we're dealing with sculpture, that is the element of form. Anything having to do with anything 3D, and we created form with this using um, our crayons to create this 3D effect on our art. So I'll see you guys next time. I cannot wait to see these pieces. I'm super excited and I hope you have a great time doing this.